Hello everyone, welcome back to Walk With Me Gaming. We can actually enjoy this introduction now that I've figured out how to make the game run better. Um, yeah, so last week we had started the Wind Temple. I was gonna do the whole thing, but like it was almost an hour long video anyway, so yeah, um, we, so we left off in between, um, I believe the map, since I have the compass, should show me where Makar is. Yeah, I think it's that pink dot there. So, if I go, if I go there, I should be able to get right to him. <clears throat> and that would require me to just jump in that, uh, in the pot there on the ground. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, let's see. I know there's a guy. Where is he? There he is. And you die. Perfect. All right. Um, <clears throat> trying to think where where we left off in topics wise. I mean, I don't think I had as much to talk about this past week. It's mostly just been either work or um, just all all sorts of other stuff. But uh, game wise, where where did we leave off talking about this game? Um, let's see. I think okay. Make ours over at that door, and we need to go. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we need to go, we need to go up. <clears throat> That's what we need to do. Because we, we go up first, and then we go down. So, hang on. How am I, where do, where do I go from this? Oh, I, I think I remember now. Yep. So we gotta go over to this door, and then I'll go ahead and bring Makar over. You know, once I once I remember what buttons do. <clears throat> da, da. As long as he doesn't get attacked by those monsters, <laughs> I'll have to just fly out of the way to get away from those. Oh, no, 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 no! Get away! Get away from me! Gotta kind of move cautiously. Because if that wind comes up, then Makar is going to struggle there. See, why doesn't the wind affect those guys? I feel like they're super lightweight. Like, they should easily be affected by that much wind. No, 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 no. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hi, Link. Have you come to save me? I sure have, Makar. Let's get out of here. Oh, right. That guy. Good thing he was close enough. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Can you, can you let me kill the guy? Just do one at a time. There we go. Now that that's taken care of, we can fly. Yep, so these can be used for transport. Look at that. Isn't that fun? I think there's still a grabby guy up here, though. Oh, no. I guess they decided not to show back up. And now, of course, I have to direct him to climb up here with me. Because can't make anything easy in this level. Alright, make our let's do this. Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly an egg. Cause he looks like an egg, and it's funny. I don't know. <laughs> I was uh we had a bunch of guests over and I decided to make a Halloween playlist of music, which is um kind of fun to do. There's not too many specifically Halloween songs. Um Aside from like parody songs and like more jokey songs, like like Halloween music, not exactly a thing. Like obviously there's Christmas music, and along with that there's also like Christmas parody music, which is usually better in terms of quality than Christmas music. But oh come on, there we go. Take that. Um, but Halloween music, not so much. It's mostly just jokey songs, like you get your purple pe people eater stuff. 
and like it's it's funny if you look up on YouTube and you you try to find like music playlists of uh, of Halloween music, you get a lot of like theme songs, which I'm like, that's that's not that's not really what you're looking for, like. That's just that's just a theme song to a kind of spooky show, like the Adams Family theme. It's like, oh great, we want to listen to spooky music, and instead we get like a one-minute theme song. That's that doesn't really count. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just being picky. But someone, in my opinion, we need a new Halloween song as like the next the next thing after. Uh, because the only, the only real Halloween song I can think of is by the Misfits, uh, with their song, Halloween. And other than that, there really just aren't many options. Whoa. Well, that was interesting. I didn't know I could do that. I guess that works. I kind of, like, double zapped him there. Um... But yeah, Halloween music, not uh, not super common. Other holidays, it's much easier to do. Um, I'd say 4th of July is probably really easy to pick holiday music for, although it doesn't, you, you might not get as much quality music doing that. <laughs> you know, just in terms of, you're just gonna get a lot of patriotic country musicians, and that's not, uh, not exactly a sign of quality, I would say. You know, no offense to you country, Country lovers, but um, it's it's not good. I'm sorry. It's just not good. Oh. No. Dang it. Get away. All right. Now you can just die. <laughs> yeah? You gotta try and steal my adorable little cherub again? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm trying to think other stuff. Irish, like, 4th of, or, uh, yeah, 4th of July, kind of difficult. Um, but at least, uh, what's it called, uh, St. Patrick's Day, super easy, because it's pretty much just Floggy Molly, Dropkick Murphys, the Pogs, and, um, I don't know, like, what other, other other Irish bands you can think of? Like, there's plenty of options, and you don't really have to, even if it's not really related to St. Patrick's Day, as long as it's got, like, kind of that, that Irish folk music sound, then it counts. <laughs> That's all you need, really. That was the slowest little roll ever. <laughs> awesome! Another joy pendant! Just what I never wanted. Seriously, who who put all the who puts all these joy pendants around? And just just for the heck of it. Haha. <laughs> I will make you suffer. We got over here. That that looks like nothing. There's nothing over there. But over here, there's things. <laughs> All right, make our time to get over here, buddy. That's the one thing that I don't like having to do. This is that make our. His abilities to move around are so much more limited, so you have to command him a whole lot more than Medley. And, uh, that is mildly annoying, but, um, you know, it, it is what it is again. Just one of those things. Like, the, Wind Waker is very much like, the things that are quote-unquote bad are not really bad. They're just mildly annoying. There's nothing really bad in Wind Waker. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, Link. It'd be funny if Makar's voice was just like, "You're like, Hi there. Are you are you the are you the the sage that's gonna help this temple?" And he's like, "Yes, I am." <laughs> just like the manliest of manly voices.
Oh, double shot. Oh, got those ones too. Didn't think I had them, which is why I missed. They come straight, straight at you when you hit them. I need more arrows. And what do we have here? It's a chest. All right. Well, now that we've opened stuff up down below, that's where we want to go now. Ah, okay. So you did need the key. I for, I was like, why do like th this? This one feels like it's really straightforward. Like there's not much of a map. Like. But you do have to get the key to get down there. So that's that's what we needed to do. That was the big deal. Okay, so at this point, the winds are blowing. We're, we're just, oh, well, okay. Well, that, that just happened. I just dropped him. Hey, Maycar. Uh, sorry for accidentally dropping you. Didn't mean to nearly kill you. Oh yeah, we already activated that. So now we just need to fall through, really. Uh, but first, I should kill these guys. Ow. Rude. Now I'll have to murder your face. Don't remember if I need the iron boots to like stand here, but that's what I'm gonna do, just in case. Don't wanna accidentally get murdered by a giant fan. Oh, okay, so that's just to get through there, so. All right, we're just gonna run, just gonna run. There we go. Oh, good. Still, oh, no, 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 not you, not you. So you don't want the, the, the yellow hooded ones are the ones you don't want to deal with because they can summon more things. Ow. Get away, get away. Got away from him. A daring escape. Ah, oh, I could have probably got him on that one. Oh, hello. That was a terrible place to show up. <laughs> Should have really thought that through a little more. Easy kill. Where's our other buddy? Oh, there he is. Oh, he got away. Not for long. There we go. As long as you kill that wizard rope first, that's all. That's all that matters. Oh no! How are we gonna get through the door? Yeah, this is actually a fun room. Ah, uh, cause you gotta climb. Climb in the walls. Oh good, bombs. That's nice. And you can pull those off the walls too and it'll do things. Um, oh, did I go the wrong way? I sure did. Would you look at that? That's fine. Up we go. Up the walls. Whoa. Camera went all wonky there for a second, I think because I was against the wall, so. Just. There you go. Come on. Just line up. There we go. And what do we got here? Oh, let's do this first, because I feel like it. <clears throat> so check this out. Oh. 
<laughs> I love that you can do that. Oh, wait, I kind of needed that. Oh, shoot. Can I get over there? Alright, <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I kind of messed up. There we go. Luckily, there's no sort, no time limit. I like how I didn't even have to like attack him. He literally just died from the fall. <laughs> Silly bokoblins, moblins, whatever. No, they are bokoblins. Oh yeah, there's the there's a treasure there's a treasure chart in here. Um. Well, might as well. We're already here, and since this is a uh, Shorter level since we don't have to do everything. Oh, cool. Bunch of rupees. Yeah, that was a dumb move. That was that was not wise. Don't do that. More enemies. <laughs> I could do that with boots on. Oh, there we go. Perfect. It was just kill the two enemies. See, that's one of the few things that the compass is actually useful for, is finding things that were uh, hidden. Where did I put... I had a thing. Hold on. Oh, well. I'll just plug it in later. My phone is dying. That's fine. I'll just plug it in when I take my nap before work. Plenty of things to kill here. Let's destroy these, shall we? Oh, we shall. Oh yes, indeed. You fools. How dare you challenge me? Don't you know that I am the master of winds? <laughs> <laughs> I love how ridiculous those guys are, but they're, like, still so cool. Ah, yes. Gotta make make our fly this part. Alright, buddy. Get over here. One more time, maybe. <clears throat> Probably more than that. Huh. <sighs> Waddle, waddle, waddle. He is so cute. <laughs> huh. I don't know. I don't know what else is going on. We're like a week away from from the presidential election and other assorted elections. Because make sure that when you do vote, and you all should be voting. I don't. I don't think I have anyone watching this who's young enough to not be able to vote. So all of you should be voting. Um. And make sure that you are selecting all of the assorted things that you have to vote for. Because we need better, we need better everything. Not just the president. Just, uh, of course, this will be, this will be filmed, or this will be shown after, after the presidential election. So, I don't know what's, uh, what's going to happen. Because, um... Because we might have to wait a few days before we actually get the final results because of uh, so many mail-in ballots, which is good. Like we should. There, if if Trump tries to say that, like, oh, we we can't go by that. We need a we need an answer now. It's like, no, that's not how it works. We need the answer when we have the answers. Like, that's that's why his ideas of science are not good either. Because he's just like making up ideas and just thinking like that's how you do it and it's like no you should listen to the people who know what they're talking about and follow their thing i think i've got the volume turned up because i'm probably talking louder than i should be <laughs> my apologies for that maybe it's i'm so full of passionate youthful energy that i just have to just to, to fight the power and whatnot you know like that rage against the machine band who some people get mad about for being political <laughs> that is still, to me, the the most 
confusing concept I've ever heard of people who are angry at Rage Against the Machine for being too political. Like, have you listened to any of their stuff? Are you paying attention at all? Alright, so this... I learned, I learned a trick with this. I'll move this over a little bit. <clears throat> but the easiest way to do this is you can trap two of these guys on one side. Specifically these two. <clears throat> I'll wait till this comes back. There we go. Perfect. And now they can't move. Yeah, and I could try and walk against this, but, uh, can't go so far. <laughs> Plus, I mean, pushing this moves slow, as slow as it would with, uh, wearing the iron boots anyway, so no big deal. I think you do have to solve the puzzle like this, where you have to block two of them with one block, because you need that third block to stop this guy because he moves fast enough that you won't be able to carry Makar through without assistance. I don't know. Maybe I'm mistaken. How can you imagine trying to roll wearing boots that are like as heavy as your butt? Well, then again, even walking with boots this heavy is insane. <laughs> like Link, you've uh, got quite the muscle structure if you're able to handle this. <clears throat> Pretty sure pre pushing an iron block or even a stone block, like any kind of block that's, that's the like as big as you, it would be physically impossible in real life. <laughs> but we're not re worried about real life. We're worried about video game logic. Come on now. Nope, nope. Whoa. Face through the ground there. There we go. Perfection. Alright, Makar. Let's do this. Pick him up. And that's as far as we go. <laughs> Alright, boss battle time. Yeah, I, I'm glad I stopped where I did, because otherwise this would have been just a bit too long of a video. Because after this... Um, there's gonna be lots of things that we have to do, so not just, uh, so, so we can kind of split up the videos however we want, really. There we go. Alright, buddy. One more time. Because <clears throat> after this, we have to do the, the dreaded, I'm gonna turn this down, because I'm talking over myself. Please excuse the, the volume button there. Um, but we will be doing the dreaded fetch quest that uh, many people talked about as being the worst feature of Wind Waker, because I know a lot of people weren't fans of the sailing, but, I mean, in the end, like, the exploration was still pretty cool, um, but it, but the actual, like, having to go and collect eight pieces of the Triforce, um, was definitely not... Not something people were was a fan of. Were people were a fan of? Yes, I I understand proper grammar. All right, I don't need that. Don't need any fairies. I'll be fine. It's it's fine. It's fine. Ooh, money! Look at that money. That's good money. All right, Makar. Well, oh well. I guess carrying him doesn't really matter because he doesn't come in here anyway. But uh, I'm gonna save before we go in. <clears throat> Yes, definitely. All right, we're doing this. Yeah, make our you you stay here. This is the boss battle. You've already been eaten by one boss monster, so um, probably not best to join in here. And I'm gonna need this little be this mm, this. There we go. This little beauty. Uh oh. Maybe you shouldn't have walked on the sand. I am curious, like, was this monster here bef No, I guess, I think the idea was that Ganon sent these monsters to kill the sages. Because the sage was probably praying here, and then 
giant sandworm comes up and kills him. So, oh yeah, by the way, we're fighting a giant sandworm with uh, the worst sound effects in the game. <laughs> this is definitely, this is definitely a, um, probably the most intimidating boss battle in this game. Mainly, I feel like just because it's kind of it's kind of like when you have like underwater battles in like previous Zelda games because it's like it's in a 3D environment and you aren't like you're on a flat plane but you kind of have to watch him as it's like flying through the air so it's kind of tougher to determine Ugh. and then this having to catch it and beat this up before before it's able to like eat you and then it spits out little mini versions of itself so just like the pose these things are awful oh no oh no oh no 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 Nope, get out, get out. Must escape. Oh no, too close. The sand the sand keeps going in. I gotta kill them before before I can get him, otherwise it Go shoot into the air. That's the cool part. <laughs> yeah, these little guys are annoying. This is definitely one of the more annoying boss battles in this game. Like, it, it's not bad, but it's just obnoxious a little bit. Like, look at that thing. That thing's horrifying. And then it comes to get ya. Alright, I got one. Oh, run, run, get away from the center. Oh. Oh, there he is. Hi there, friend. Should've eaten, drank some of Grandma's soup before fighting him so I could kill him easier. Oh, gosh. Wow, that did two hearts of damage. Holy crap. Oh, gosh. Watch out for giant sand snakes. Is that a euphemism? Nope. Hi there. Prepare to be murdered. Oh, oh there he goes again. No, don't spit out more. Just appear somewhere else. Oh, oh, here he comes. There he is. Crafty devil. Trying to sneak up on me, are ya? I don't think so. Great success. <laughs> It's like something out of, like, it makes me think of, uh, almost more like a, um, Shadow of the Colossus boss than any of the others in this game. <laughs> Hooray! I love his little victory dance. <laughs> Sweet! Another heart container. I think this will be on the second row of heart containers, so isn't that fun? We've accomplished so much. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <clears throat> okay. Go collect this, of course. Yep. Very nice. We are ready for battle. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What do we do next? Yeah, look at him. He's so happy. Hey, buddy. Ready? Let us begin. <laughs> Play your song for me, child. I demand entertainment. And so is the sword, really. So, my question is, does Makar have to stand here and continue to play for the rest of his life? Like, if he stops playing at any point, does the sword, like, suddenly lose his power again? Or, I don't know. Seems a little, uh, inefficient of a method for powering such a divine item. But, what do I know? <laughs> Aha. The full power. Doesn't make the sword any stronger, just makes it so that you can finish the game. 
it should make the, the sword stronger. Like, it should make it so that killing enemies is even easier. But, I don't know. Well, that's just, uh, it's just the way it is, I suppose. <clears throat> Why is he, like, he's, like, crying. Like, don't cry, Maker. You, you did a good job. Maybe he... Okay, well, and now he's got his... I think that was a mix... I think someone mixed up, uh, what... What model was supposed to be there? <laughs> make our with fiddle or make our sobbing? Like, um, yeah, go with the sobbing one. It's like, uh, are you are you sure? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Yeah. So now you can go to the Forsaken Fortress, and there's no enemies at all. Like, it's just completely empty, which is weird. But also, like, kind of makes sense, I guess. Like, I mean, Ganon left because we burned down his tower. <laughs> Alright. Not a creature stirring. I mean, I... I... Okay. So... Yes. So why can't we just go back to Hyrule and... Oh, oh gosh. No, no, no. Don't kill me. Okay. Um, well, where should we go now? Well, first off, do we have... I forget. <clears throat> so, how many maps do we have? we got a good amount, actually. We could go do some, some uh, treasure hunting if we want. Hmm, look at all these. They're pretty good. Oh, tingle. <laughs> <laughs> is this one? No, that's the Skull Island. So I don't think I have one for this island. Nope. And then there's Beetle's charts. And the Incredible chart. Ah, yes, that's what it is. The Incredible chart. That's... So it tells where all of these are. Um, but to get... Okay, so we need from the ghost ship, but we also need... We need the ghost map to get to the ghost ship. So, all right, I think we do. But I don't know where that is. So, I'll have to figure that out. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, um, so where, where's, where's everything? Sorry. Forgetting things. Okay, so there's the one over there, and then everything is lined up down kind of near the bottom, so... Oh, yeah, and I remember the, that one, so. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's, um, let's do some sailing, I suppose. <laughs> mm, yeah, we'll do that. And then, so what's on our map? I don't know what's all up on these these top islands, but uh, why not? Well, let's just uh, explore. Maybe we'll get some some fresh items or other cool things. So this is the part where we do a lot of exploring and a lot of sailing, and stuff just kind of happens. So that's what we're doing. Um, I don't remember what all these islands are, but we shall see. Um. Let's see, what do we got here? This is this is clearly a small island. Oh, is that a... Is that a... Submarine out in the distance I see? I believe it is. I think that's a submarine. But there's this. So what's here? Oh, this is a Crescent Island. So, on certain... Oh, oh, yep. Sharks. Right. Yeah, I remember you guys. <laughs> he, like, crashed into a thing. Yes, yes. Okay. So this is this is something. I want to destroy you. Hi, Marceline. Oh, there's two of them on this island. That's pretty rare. It's very rare that you get two blue choo choos in the same place. Actually, how many? Uh, eight. Okay. I need a few more to get anything good. <clears throat> I think he needs like 15 or 20 to make his potion. All right, more treasure charts. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, okay. 
Um, where's the fish? The fish is over there. And that's... I don't think I need anything else on the island. But I do need to put it on my chart. Because I say so. Okay. Hey, can I get my, uh... Oh, I see. That's why it disappeared. Because the fish was near. I guess the sharks are scared of the fish. Oh, stormy tonight. Wait, is this a ghost ship night on this island? I know this is one of the islands where the ghost ship appears. I'll have to figure out that. <clears throat> but that's what we get the ghost chart for. Crescent Moon Island. Yep. Oh, uh, when the moon is full. I see. Yeah, so it, uh, they, it appears based on when the moon is, what, what phase of the moon is out. So these guys are mildly annoying enemies, but they can be killed quite easily with, uh, with, uh, boomerangs. So that's nice. I don't know if there's anything good in their stuff. Couple, couple rupees, nothing wrong there. All right, so now let's go out to that submarine. I'm going to find my submarine. Yes. <laughs> yep. And there, there's that little spyglass guy out there looking. So he would have told us to go towards the submarine. What a marvelous piece of engineering! Ah, there you are. Usually, it's surrounded by enemies. This is interesting. I wonder if this is the the weird one that doesn't uh, have any actual like enemies in it. Um, <clears throat> oh no, it does. This is the mini balloons one. This one's annoying. <laughs> All right, we killed one. Now what? Oh, a couple more. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Good thing we got weapon attacks like this. <laughs> a couple more. Alright, fine. If y'all wanna die, you know, you're welcome to. That's your decision. But just know, I am a powerful soldier. Oh yeah, we're doing this now. <laughs> Why? Because it was fun. No other reason. Just because it was a silly thing and I don't get many experiences where that's actually useful. This is like one of the few times that doing that attack is actually like a viable option. As opposed to just swinging your sword regular. <laughs> I guess I've killed enough. That doesn't mean they disappear though. Instead, they just like jump up to the ceiling. Because they're weird like that. Destroy you. Like, they can still hurt you, but they're just, like, not gonna try. <laughs> Said they're gonna just meld into the walls and stuff. Alright, well, let's go ahead and claim our prize. So, what do you get? I'm gonna say heart piece. I was wrong. That's fine. Maybe it's a treasure chart to a heart piece. I don't know. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, this is this is where this is this is the part of the game where it's like it's you're either doing like little mini quests or you're accomplishing the end goal of the game, which is essentially a mini quest as well, so. Either way, not a big deal. It's sun it's 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 daylight out now. It's it's sun time, you know. As or as some people would call it day. I call it sun time. Because I feel like it. 
Uh, let's see. I think this is like... I think this island is the one that's uh, it's an arpeggio of... I think that's the correct term. Um, basically, it's a bunch of small islands um, all together, and there's like a single thing. Oh, we definitely want to do this. Collect some extra rupees. I got a bunch of treasure charts to 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 d distinguish, so kind of kind of need the extra cash. Any amount will do. Of course, I will have to stop and get the things and all that, so it won't be that significant. Get, we get, we're getting a few. No figures, I wasn't close enough. And he's not gonna eat it. Get over here, Mr. Fish. There we go. Now you'll eat it. You wanted the fresh stuff. What's it starting to rain in the middle of our conversation? Oh, that's just peachy. Let's see if I got it right. Is it something Arpeggio? Seven Star Isle. That's, that's what it is. That's fine. Oh. Oh, is there a big Octo here? Oh, I might have to look around for that. I think there is. He probably wouldn't have said that if it wasn't if it wasn't here, so. Let's see. See anything? Just a fish. And then there's a couple towers there. Oh, it's back that way. Okay. Interesting. I don't. Yeah, this this might be one. I don't think there's anything on the actual rocks that's significant. I think what we want to do is go this direction. Where where did I see that pile of seagulls? There they are. Kind of the wrong direction of my sailing. <laughs> I should just change the change change the direction of my of my wind, but I I'm too proud for that. Oh, we're almost there. Okay, it is gonna go exactly against the wind. So that's great. <laughs> now nah, we're almost there. Too late to change now. I've committed to this. He does sail even when the wind's completely against him. There we go. We made it. We made it. Somebody pour Gatorade on Conrad. <laughs> that is... My favorite cartoon that's out right now um, on on YouTube. Um, it's called Big Top Burger. You should definitely watch it. I forget what the YouTube channel is, but that's one of my favorite animations out there. And I do know that at least has some work from uh, the people who made Batman Piter Man, which if you also don't know that, you should check that out. That's a classic of internet animation. And uh, a very weird one, but also totally kid-friendly. So uh, y your kids might laugh at it too. And you can be like, this is superheroes. And they're like, it's not really superheroes. And you're like, well, that's fine. You're going to watch it anyway because I'm an adult and I make the decisions in this household. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be a weird parent one day. <laughs> but I think all parents are a little weird. Like every... Everyone, everyone grows up a little bit and turns out uh, significantly stranger than they expected to when they were kids. Everyone thinks they're going to grow up and be so cool. And then you're like, um, that's less fun. Yeah, <laughs> got him. That was, a, that was a big one. I think that, that was a 12i one. So that one should probably get us a heart piece. So that's nice. Da -da 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 -da. Huh? Right about here. Alright. Bring me up the good stuff. There we go. Yeah, I think... I think the, the, the Octos, I think, 
give either a heart piece or 200 rupees. So either way, it's good good news. <laughs> Let's see what treasure we've brought up. Honestly, I'd kind of like the rupees more now. So of course it's a heart piece, but that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Well, I do want to see what uh, these are. I, I know that there's some significance to these towers, especially because there's no turrets. So there's something there's something special about these towers that I do want to experience. Because when there's no cannons, then that that's that's something different. It's it's interesting how the these guard posts have kind of their own personalities, with like each having different qualities and stuff. And this one. The fact that there's no cannons is definitely a sign that, like, something's off about this. And that is what it is. That's a different looking guy. It was white. Alright, I know there's more. Oh. Taking out. <sighs> Getting all the good stuff. All right, bring it on. I know there's one more. Or two more. Oh, yep, there he is. Get a little closer, please. If you wouldn't mind. Nope, that's not close enough. Sir, where... This guy likes to stay at a distance. Oh, there he is. Finished. Excellent. And that is how you destroy whiz robes. In combat. No! Oh! Well, I thought I was close enough. I was mistaken. My apologies, boat. I gotta I gotta do this again. I was didn't even have like a running leap. It just fell straight off. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? See, that, that time. I just needed more more space to get a running jump. That's all it was. Oh, lovely. A golden feather. Oh, I might have enough for um, the thing that I need to do. Actually, maybe that's where we'll finish things today. Oh, wrong button. Yep, I got 20. Awesome. So yeah, I think that's where we'll wrap things up then. We'll we'll go to uh Dragon Roost Island. Yep. Let's see what's in this one. Twenty rupees, okay. Well that's that's that is a nice surprise. Wouldn't say it's the best surprise, but uh it'll do. Yep. And this is probably a treasure chart. Yep. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. I know how this game works. It. <laughs> I mean, there's so many treasure charts, like, it kind of has to be. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Boat, shall we continue? Um, where am I? Okay, so actually we need to go up to this corner, so why don't we go ahead and teleport ourselves back to... <sighs> oh my gosh. Um... We'll teleport ourselves to Dragon Roost Island, complete a few little tasks, and then, um, and that's what we'll do. Oh my gosh. Can you, all right, I, oh, I cannot wait till when this video comes out because it'll be after the election and I won't get any more stupid texts telling me, get out there and vote. Have you voted yet? Have you done your vote? I'm gonna vote. That is 100% on my list of things to do. I don't need texts reminding me four times a day. Thank you very much. And I guarantee, if I do go out and vote early, I will still be getting the text, so it doesn't even matter. Oh, wait. I heard a thing. Yes, yes. I definitely heard a thing. It's one of these. I'm almost positive I've gotten this. Yep. Oh, there it is. Sweet. Get, a, get ourselves a little extra something here. Perfect. 
awesome. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna do a few little Dragon Roost tasks, because there's a few things that we can accomplish and uh, get ourselves some bonus stuff. Awesome. Silver Ruby. That is something worth jumping for joy about. Watch us slowly sailing by. Okay. That's good enough. <sighs> yeah, I mean, the... You know, now we're hitting the point where it's like, I can choose how long the videos I want to be. Um, and this one will be slightly longer, but like not like crazy amount. Just just enough because there's stuff to do. So this is fun. Look up. Oh, and that's so cool that he gives you that little hint. Even if you're not paying attention, he, he is totally looking up. Heh <laughs> So close. There we go. <laughs> nice little bonus. Whoa! I didn't realize it was a silver rupee. Oh, that was... That's an excellent addition to our collection of rupees. Because <laughs> that's, that's how money works. It's a collection. Uh, let's go up here. Hey, little Kamali. How are you doing? Yeah. Aw. This is a nice flower. That was very sweet of you, sir. But no, she's dead. <laughs> no, she's not dead. Don't worry. She's infused my sword with uh, magical powers. So uh, she's kind of busy right now. Um, you can you can hang out with her later. Let's see. I know there's a few things I can do here. So first thing, this guy. This guy wants, wants the wings. Hmm, let's see here. You mean, you want wings, huh? Like these? Oh! <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Oh, that's right, because he gives you an orange rupee, and then you get a piece of mail later uh, with her, with the girl that he fell in love with, giving you a uh, giving you a heart piece. So that's pretty nice too. Hey, dude, looks like you found found the job, huh? Yeah, twenty five layers. Let's do this. I don't think we're gonna get twenty five on this one. No, no, oh no, oh we're doing terrible. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna be so disappointed. Wow, this is really bad. Can... I'm not even gonna get half. Well, I'll get half, but still. Just really bad. Overzealous. That's what it is. Well, 19 wasn't as bad as I thought with how badly we did there. <laughs> Alright, we got this. Gotta focus. Dude, yes. Sure thing, buddy. I got you. <laughs> Can you drop that off in the post box. I'll okay, fine. I'll take care of it. I got you, buddy. Um, and then there's a thing we can do here. Okay, there's a thing over here. I know we can do. So we want to go over that direction. Gotta face the right way. Change the winds up a bit. And then we'll drop that letter in the mailbox. There we go. Just enough. Just enough to change things. And then... Hop on... Fly to the skies. 
Watch out for these beasts. <laughs> I know you want to eat my face, but get away from me, please. My magical powers have no time for your nonsense. Excuse me, did you hear me? My magical powers have no time for your nonsense. Thank you very much. Ah. I was hoping I could slay it. Nope. Okay. That's fine. Don't want to waste all my arrows. And I think this way is correct. Yeah. Just had to turn it just a little bit. Alright, fly. How long are we at? Oh man, we're almost at an hour? My apologies if you didn't want to watch a long video, but uh, there's lots to do at this point, so it's kind of, everything takes just a little bit longer. Alright. We'll wrap this up, though. I'll, I'll get these last couple things, and then we'll wrap this up. We'll, fin we'll finish here on this nice island where it's safe. <laughs> nope, get away from me. I've got no time for your nonsense, silly bird. Oh, you want to fight? Well, fine. How about that? Now you're dead. Whose fault is that? Yours, of course. Oh, get out of here. Oh, excellent. More money. We got plenty now. I mean, that's that's kind of the big thing now, is both collecting those charts and also just getting enough money to pay for them. <sighs> and here we go. So now we can mail that letter real quick. We'll walk through here to pick up these couple extra rupees, because why not? It's useful. I think the mailbox is up top. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Alright. Send this out, and just let him know that we sent it. Note to mom. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yes, yes. Worth worth paying for. Alright, let's go. Just let him know that we sent it. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. We might actually be able to make a little more money, too. Alright. And then after that, we will save up, because I've been playing for almost two hours now today, and uh, I have run out of things to say. <laughs> As is tradition. Yeah. Well, that's... Isn't that convenient? Alright, how much will you pay me? Not a good... Not so much a good one this time, but that's okay. It's not, not critical. Oop. Still want to do our best? As soon as I start talking, that's when I lose my concentration, is what it is. So you guys are what are messing me up. Alright, well, we got 25. I'm proud of that. Well, fine. Alright, I'm gonna... So what did he say? He's gonna give me... Give me something special. If you can sort more than 25, I'll give you one... Oh, I need to do more than 25. Well, you know what? Now I don't want to. Yep. 
Nope. <sighs> well, that's it. Okay, that's a that's a that's a good way to end. Just kind of sad and failing. But uh, okay, well that is it. We'll wrap up for today. Thank you all for watching. Check out my other videos. Subscribe to the channel, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Share it around. Love you guys all. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.